Welcome back. Unlike the ODI matches, players and coaches are expecting a packed venue when the West Indies take on India in their one-off T20 International at Sabina Park on Sunday. With five Jamaicans in the squad, there's plenty of encouragement for cricket lovers to turn out at Sabina Park tomorrow. No doubt the biggest crowd puller will be hard-hitting Jamaican Chris Gale. It's been a long time, one year. Um, that's a long time. Um, but due to circumstance, um, you know, I've been out of the team. Um, you know the stuff, a few niggles here and there as well. Um, but now I'm back and it's good. And what's so special about it as well is that um, actually I'm playing in front of my home crowd. So, you know, I'm, look, I'm actually looking forward to that in India. You know, one of the best T20 in you know, side in the world. So that will actually make it more interested. Um, you know, for the people to actually come out and watch it, watch a good game, and hopefully it will be a high-scoring game. And you know, West Indies come out on top, and I get a chance to entertain my home fans one more time. And Coach Stuart Law is expecting much excitement with Gale's return to the squad. I'm looking forward to watching you know, the big man get stride out there for, in front of his home crowd. I'm looking forward to seeing a Jamaican crowd, you know, bouncing in the stands and. Uh, I've heard a lot about you know, this ground, how, how volatile it can be and that would be a great atmosphere to, to, to put the Indians in. Um, you know, you want to put them under as much pressure, they're pretty good at this game as well but um, you know, we're the current T20 world champions, um, you know, we've got some explosive power hitting and our lineup is, is very solid so looking forward to watching our guys uh, go about their business. The Indians are also preparing for the return of one of the world's most feared batsmen. Yes, Chris Gale. Uh we all respect him. Uh, he's a dangerous player on a given day, I and mean, he can change the game for their team. But right now, it is important to focus on our game and uh, back ourselves in the middle. And Law says he's looking forward to a steady flow of runs on what is expected to play a pretty flat track at Sabina Park. It's going to be hot, uh, considering we're starting at 10:30 in the morning. Um, you know, it's going to be hot, that's for sure. But you know, the wicket here yesterday was very good. It got better as the day went on as well. Um, and I don't think it'll change too much for for Sunday. Probably even be be flatter. So, you know, expecting some uh, some good 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 batting, big hitting, and uh, you know, a lot of fun. With a strong batting lineup, India could also take advantage of the flat Sabina Park wicket. Uh, yes, we are looking forward to this one uh, one T20 game, and we all know West, West Indies is a very dangerous team, especially in this shorter format. So we don't want to take them lightly. We want to give our best. Guys are, I mean, all of us played IPL, did well, so, uh, I mean, we just want to express ourselves tomorrow. Jordan Fort, TVJ Sports.